Hi everyone, uh, welcome to my YouTube channel. And in this video, I'll be using F function in Excel. So F function in Excel uh, could be very helpful in uh, checking the budget to see if the actual money uh, you spent was within the budget or it was about the budget. It can also give you like, hey, if your budget for a trip was $500 and you spent $700, it can, uh, uh, it help can help you do some math um, here so we have uh, um, four different records one of them is airfare uh, the second one is hotel uh, the car and food so here the budget for each of them is over here so airfare the budget was eight hundred dollars for the hotel the budget was 150 dollars for car the budget is a hundred dollars and for food the budget is fifty dollars and here are the actual money that is spent uh, on the trip. So airfare, the budget was $800, but the money spent is $900. Uh, for hotel, the budget was $150, uh, but you spent $180. For car, the budget was $100, but you spent only $20. And for food, the budget was $50, but you spent $70. So what we want to do is uh, create two more columns. One of them will be uh, we'll just call it overspent or uh, difference. We'll call it difference. So it will be the difference between the actual spend and the budget. That that we'll, we'll just call it status. Uh, and here we will have some sort of uh, string at the end that will tell us if the money was uh, within the budget or not so let's do the first one so we'll do equal f now we are using a logical test so logical test is basically kind of a condition that you want to apply to this cell so here we want to see if uh, the actual money spent is greater than uh, the budgeted amount so we'll, we'll do uh, c2 is greater than b2 so you see uh c2 is highlighted over here and b2 is highlighted over here and then we'll just put comma so if this condition is true if c2 is greater than uh, b2 then we want to show the difference so we want to show the actual money that is spent so it'll be c2 minus b2 and then comma now if the condition is false, so if, uh, like in this case here, this is false because uh, here the uh, the money that is spent on car is 20, but the actual budget was 100. So this condition is false over here. And if it's false, we, we don't want to do anything. We just want to put zero. Okay, and here we go. So now you see it, uh, the column is already calculated for everything. So here the difference is $100. Um, here the difference is 30. Uh, here uh, I will put zero because uh, I spent within the budget. And here the difference is 20. Now we wanna also do some sort of a status. So we wanna, we, we want to show if, if uh, C2 is greater than B2, then we want to do is we want a, uh, a column to say something so we can uh, say that uh, we can say over the budget over the budget if text condition is true we want it to say over the budget and if this condition is false we want it to say within the budget within budget and we want to close these parentheses and then press tab so you see now here it is saying that this is over the budget this is also over the budget and this is within the budget and this is over the budget so now it is just comparing these two and uh putting a string or a message over here based on the condition that we entered so the condition here is that f c2 it's greater than uh, B2, then it will say over the budget. 
if c2 is less than b2 then it will just say within the budget uh, when we uh, do uh, comparison of uh, different columns we can also compare compare uh, we, it doesn't have to be numbers we can also compare um, we can also add conditions to uh, strings so for example here I'll just uh, this is just an example that I'll put uh, uh, yes or no so now I want to see uh, if it was under the it if it were over the budget or not so I'll just put equal if so now I want to have uh, I want to check this uh, I want to check this uh, cell see if it is uh, what does it say? So if I'll, I'll, I'll say, and now it'll be E2 is equal to, if E2 is equal to, um, let's see, over the budget, then comma, then I'll just say, uh, yes yes if it's not then i'll just say no okay yes so here now we are comparing that so see you see that here it says over the budget it says yes over the budget yes here it says within the budget and the uh, column uh, and the cell says now and here again uh, it says over the budget and so says yes. So you can do a lot of different things here uh, in this. So um, you can also add uh, whatever the total was, uh, the total budget was and how much you spend. So if you want to do that, you can do uh, this sum and then this. Then you control shift this and then you can do it like this. Uh, it will also calculate this for you or you can just select columns uh, like uh, uh, B2 and B5, you can do that as well. That's that is also helpful. So this is the total budget. I can just put here total budget was this and the actual uh, money spent. Actual money spent. So I could do that. I'll just see equal sum. Mm, this control shift down this and there we go so the total budget was eleven hundred dollars and i spent um eleven hundred seventy dollars so this was it uh, for this presentation uh let me know if you have any questions or concerns uh please subscribe to my channel there will be a lot uh of great content uh coming up soon so please subscribe and uh like uh, for the YouTube algorithm. Thank you so much.